Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel for what I thought would be a fun kind of insight into my everyday life type video. I've seen in the past, I don't know if they're actually very trendy anymore, I haven't been keeping up with the YouTube trends, but in the past, what's in my bag videos were a huge hit. Everybody loved to see what women were carrying around in their various types of purses. Well, my purse contents is not all that interesting. I'm pretty sure there's a wallet, keys, lip balm, and probably that's about it. But I thought I would share with you guys today what is in my gym bag. This is the bag that is very, very heavy and difficult to hold at this angle that I always, always carry with me at the gym. It's always stocked full, so usually I can just throw in my wallet and I can go out the door. Everything else pretty much remains in there unchanged. So I thought it might be fun to just go through it with you and show you genuinely, this, is, this has not been touched since I got home from the gym today. So this is genuinely what is in my gym bag today. Let's dive right in. The first thing that you should know is this is a Dagny Dover duffel bag. Say that five times fast. My goodness. I believe it's called like the London duffel bag, but I could be very, very wrong. And I got this because I had some store credit and I was dying for a different gym bag, like an official gym bag. I had been using one of my purses as a gym bag, so I wanted a real one. So I got one and it has more than enough room. And the problem with bags that have more than enough room is you can fit all sorts of crap in there that you don't even need. Can you see all that? It's out of control. There's not really a rhyme or reason, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. First, here's proof, my friends, proof that I did not do anything to this bag. This is my bottle that had my Beachbody Energize pre-workout in it that I was drinking before and during body pump class today. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, this thing is a disaster. I haven't used this one in a while. So I have two TheraBands in here. Where's the other one? Here it is. So I have two TheraBands in here, and what TheraBands are, they're therapeutic el electric, elastic bands that I use for, I've always used them all my life. I've give, been given them by PTs and OTs all the time um, to use for stretching and everything, but I've started using this during body pump as my tricep weight. Instead of actually using weights because I don't have the strength in my triceps to lift my arms up over my head, or do anything constructive with my triceps, literally nothing, there is no strength there to speak of, I end up using this and I will tie it around or hook it around like the stand that the weights are on or something that's not gonna move and I use this to do pullbacks and everything during the tricep tracks of my body pump classes. So I completely modify, I'm the only person in the class that does it, I don't care because it's my workout, let me do what I want and everybody does without judgment or if they are judging me, they don't tell me so I don't really care. And these things are also great for stretching. So I always have different um, colors with me because different colors are different resistance levels. Built Bar wrapper. This was my breakfast this morning. So I do have this little pouch in here. It says hot mess. And I try to keep my stuff in here. So this is like equipment that I purchased for adaptive purposes, but it's really something that anybody of any level can use. It doesn't just have to be CMT patient, disabled hand related stuff. The first thing I keep in here are weight hooks. And these are for when I'm not going overhead, I end up putting, when I'm not lifting my weights over my head and I'm doing some heavy lifting, I will occasionally put these on. I've only used these in body pump class thus far, but what they do is you get you put them on your wrists and then you have the hooks here and this is what'll hook to the dumbbell so you don't have to use finger strength to hold on to the weight which is amazing for someone like me who has no finger strength compared to the muscle strength in the rest of my body. Now my whole body's not very strong but my fingers are my weakest muscles outside well Okay, so I have three sets of weakest muscles. My fingers are one of them. So my body, like when I'm doing the backtrack and lifting the dumbbell, or the barbell rather, I can do more than my fingers will let me. So I got these, so if I felt so inclined to go heavier, I just can't go overhead, because if you flip the bar, and then push up, the bar might fall out of the hook, so I can't do that, but if I keep everything facing downward, I can go heavier because of these hooks, 
because I don't have to use my finger strength and so I can put more weight on because my back can handle more than my fingers can. So I do keep those in my gym bag. Weirdly, I also have weightlifting gloves, but I only have one glove. I'm not sure where the other one is at the moment. And then this is a recent addition to my collection. These are hooks that go on the barbell. They stop the weights from coming off. They're called Lockjaw One. One of the first things I noticed after I started going to the YMCA's in Minneapolis's area was some of the locations have a different system of clips for keeping the weights on your barbells. And that was one that requires you to be able to squeeze. Again, going back to the I have no finger strength. This was physically incredibly difficult, almost edging into the area of impossible. So what I ended up doing was I texted my old body pump instructor and I was like, hey, Next time you're in the room, the studio, can you text me a picture with the brand name of the locks that we use for the barbells? She texted me these, it said Lockjaw One. I hopped on Amazon and typed that in and boom, hot pink ones showed up and I was like, great. So I purchased them and I now have my own set that I carry with me just in case I walk into a building that does not have this readily available. The way these work are instead of having to pinch, you, you, I mean, you pinch a little bit, but it's so easy. This is how they work. So you slide them onto the bar and then you clip them down and then they stay tightly around the bar. Pretty cool, right? That was everything that was in this bag. Now we're gonna get to a whole bunch of Brianna doesn't really know what's in here. My wallet, headphones, iPad. I use this to catch up on YouTube videos while I'm on the elliptical machines and to read books. That's exclusively what I use my iPad mini for. This thing's like five years old or something. On its way out, the screen thinks I'm touching it when I'm not touching it. But I love the size of this, and I don't know if you can actually get iPad minis anymore, and I really, really love the size. So I keep on using it. One hair tie. Should we keep a tally? One hair tie. Individual vials of eye drops, because I am no longer allowed to use a regular bottle of eye drops in the eye that I had surgery on, so I have to keep individual vials of eye drops with me for sanitation purposes. I have a bright yellow, like, highlighter color gel pen, and I'm not entirely sure why that's in here. These, oh man, I worked out today, these are heavy. So I actually have these one pound weights that go on the barbells because no system that I've seen actually offers at the location a, bar, a weight this light. The lightest weight is 2.2 pounds. And sometimes, especially with my body, if I wanna increase my weight, I need to go in smaller increments. And so a woman in the Chicago area gave these to me when I was at Body Pump there and these live in my bag. Yes, it adds it, it adds two pounds, absolutely, but these are a godsend because it adds just a little bit more weight, but not 2.2 pounds worth of weight. So this is incredibly helpful for me in increasing my weight and my effort in my weightlifting classes. My lock for my locker. For whatever reason, I have a Listerine pocket back spray thing that I've rarely ever used because I can't push it down. Whew. Yeah, that tastes just like I remember. Ah. Hey, look, a healthy eating all the time and go bar wrapper. Another pocket over here, we have a toe separator. This separates my big toe from the rest of my toes because my toes tend to creep under. My big toe tends to creep under the rest of the toes and sometimes that gets incredibly painful if it's having an off day. So I can pop this in there and it straightens everything back out for me. Again, found it on Amazon. Literally any adaptive equipment that I have been looking for, I'm like, I wonder if they make this. I go on Amazon and sure enough, they always do. What else is in this pocket? I have a little mirror. This is a compact mirror that came with the hard contact lens I have in my eye which I don't have to use to put my contact lens in anymore. So apparently I just threw this in there one day. I don't know why. I don't know why half of this stuff is in here. Okay, and then over in my other pouch, I have two Quest Bars because I always have food with me. And then, are you ready for this? I have the Young Living Fitness Inspired by Ula Essential Oil. Yeah, I caved, I bought it one day. I mean, it smells really good. It's supposed to, I don't know, inspire your fitness. I don't know, when I remember, I actually put it on and smell it and I'm like, okay, this is gonna give me a killer workout. Does it help? I have no idea. Cypress, balsam, basil, citrus, marjoram, peppermint, clary, more balsam, Idaho blue spruce, nutmeg, and pepper. I don't know, but it smells really good. And then I have this little pouch here 
that is actually connected to the bag, so I can't lose it, which is really great. And in this pouch, this pouch is actually very important, I keep all of my pre-workout in here. So I have my WM Nutrition pre-workout packets, and these are the packets that I dump straight into my mouth. And then, because my fingers don't work, I keep a little pair of cheapy eyebrow scissors in here. While these scissors are incredibly flimsy, they are sharp enough to cut the top of the pre-workout pouches, which means I can actually open my pre-workout, pour it in my mouth, and be done with it. So this has to stay with me, otherwise I can't get into these pouches. Again, that's the finger strength or lack thereof. And then what else is in here? What else, what else? Is there anything else? I've got one, two, three different lip balms because I am a lip balm snob and I always have lip balms and lip moisturizers and lip glosses and all of the lip products with me at all times. So these live in my gym bag. I have a super size lip smacker strawberry. I have a little size lip smacker strawberry frosting. And then I have one of my all time favorites, especially in the winter. This is the Lano Lips 101 ointment in the strawberry flavor. I love this stuff. This stuff's so moisturizing. So good, smells amazing. Did you also notice, I just realized, all three of these were strawberry flavored? That was not intentional. I'm gonna put those right back in there so I don't lose them. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. So here is the empty bag. It has a bunch of different pouches in it. It has one on each side. I do keep my water bottle attached to the one side over here when I do have it, but the water bottle comes with me everywhere, so right now it's sitting over on my desk. So it's not always in here. Yes, the bag is empty. Oh, oh no, wait, wait. This little pocket in the front has something in it. Let's find out what it is because I actually have no idea. What in the world? Still going here. I'm pulling out all the stuff. Surprise, surprise, two more. Not one, but two more lip products. Another ponytail holder. I thought that there would be like five or six ponytail holders. I'm shocked that there are only two. More eye drops and a paper clip. I don't know why. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything that I keep in my gym bag. This is now a great opportunity for me to go ahead and reorganize the way my gym bag is supposed to be, but that was genuinely 100% honestly what's in there because I had no idea what some of the stuff was actually going to be. I hope you liked this video. I just thought it would be a little something fun and different for me to do for the Vlogmas occasion. If you did like this video, it would mean the world to me if you gave it a thumbs up so I can use that as feedback to know that you like videos like this. I'm I don't know what videos like this actually means, but still, it's all good. If you haven't already joined the Diva and the Divine community and would like to, there's a little red subscribe button right down there. Just click it and you are a member of our community. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>